Hello guys, welcome back to my reaction channel. Today we're going to react to Parasite episode 5. Now guys, the first four episodes were, um, they were amazing, okay? I'm really hooked to this anime. I really wish I had more time to kind of watch it a bit more. But hey, two episodes a week, I'm going to give you a bit more if I find the time. But anyway, we're going to be jumping right into this. The last two episodes, uh, we we just got out of a huge battle with a homicidal parasite and Shinichi actually stabbed the boy and, and, and he bled to death. I mean he didn't bleed to death, he actually went to his female counterpart to, to try and preserve his life but it turns out she had different plans because she was already sharing a body with a human baby. She didn't want to share a body with another parasite so she decided to blow him up. So that guy's dead but she's still alive and out there because she quit and now I don't know I guess she's gonna wait to give birth to that baby. That baby is gonna be man I don't know I don't know what to expect honestly uh, they ended up the episode by uh, Shinichi actually letting his parents go on a vacation right in the middle of all these killings and all that Min Smith murders so yeah I still I still remain behind my words that he shouldn't have done that he should have just flat out told him what's going on he should have had that conversation with Megan kind of explained it those are his parents and that he loves them and he doesn't want to see them get hurt, you know? Now he sent them on their merry way. Can you imagine if one of them gets murdered or something? Bro, that would be devastating. So I'm still behind the fact that he made a mistake there. But hey, let's hope for the best. Anyway, I ain't gonna prolong this that much. If you enjoy my reactions, feel free to share, subscribe, like, leave a comment, ring that bell for notifications, guys. Follow me on Instagram, Joe, my Discord server, and my Patreon page. Without further ado, man, let's jump right into this reaction. Uh, let's go, man. I'm excited. This is a great anime, man. So far, I'm enjoying the hell out of it. I don't think I've been this far out before. Oh, really? You gotta be up early tomorrow? No, I don't. Nah, man, she's a parasite. Do, do you see that blank expression on her face? No, I don't. Like, I'm, I'm just trying to eat you. <laughs> that, that's a parasite, man. That girl is a parasite for sure. Good. Then let's go a little bit farther. There's a spot up ahead with a beautiful view. <laughs> How the hell do you, man? You need to pay more attention. Yeah, it's a parasite. I knew it. My host body will die soon. Mm. I'll use the man. Oh. I see. The belt does serve a purpose. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it was like, oh, I see, the belt does serve a purpose. Interesting. So we're about to find out whether the parasites can actually change hosts because so far it's already been a theory, right? Miggy killed that one parasite for suggesting that he should switch and they should share a host. So we're about to find out whether that's actually possible or not to move from body to body. My only choice is to relocate to this man's yeah. body. There should be no difference in controlling a male host. That's after. Come on. Move. You got the night. Hell yeah. Parasite the Maxim. <laughs> Listen, I fast forwarded, we don't have to always listen to the opening, I mean, not the full opening, because, hey, I'm curious to see what's gonna happen, but, yeah, I, I really enjoyed the opening, it has that, you know, metallic kind of vibe, you know, to it, and it, it just blends well with the anime itself, because it's dark, it has that, you know, screamish aura around it, but yeah, like I said, I'm very curious to see where this anime goes, because so far... I'm enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it. I'm just going to keep on saying it, man. Tell me in the comments. I, I, I've been getting DMs from a lot of you. You're also very excited about this anime and seeing me progress and all that. So it must be getting better and better. I mean, you know, because I can see that I'm not the only one that's getting excited. So I'm surprised because it's only been a few episodes and I'm really hooked. I'm really hooked. Let's continue. Oh, oh crap. I'm going to be 
You slept as long as you did because your body needed the rest. Bro, I was about to say, you're home alone. Who are you talking to? Your parents are gone. I completely forgot about Migi, bro. <laughs> if I had woken you up, I would deprive you of energy. It's a okay. good thing. Yeah, yeah. It's possible your brain may be undergoing some kind of change as well as your body. Ryoko Tamiya was probably able to sense it and notice something about you that seemed inhuman. It would not surprise me if you had changed somehow, particularly at the psychological level. Damn. Going to sleep now. Oh. Hey, wait a second. I love that he just abandons him. He's like, oh, I'm sleepy. See ya. <laughs> Toodles. <laughs> anyway, listen. Any normal human would change after learning about these creatures and, and having to live with one of them as a part of your body, you know? Nobody in their right mind would actually stay the same, you know? Everybody would just, you know, uh, progress, develop, you know, change a bit. At least a bit, right? You gotta admit, this is weird as hell. But, uh, yeah, what they're saying is, like, he's becoming less and less human, right? That's how I got it. And, yeah, it does seem to be the case because his girlfriend and his mom were kind of, you know, they were intuitive. They, they sensed that something is wrong with him, that something has changed. And also, if we go back to the pregnant parasite's mother, I mean, the hostess mother, she sensed right away that that's not her daughter, even though she sounded and looked just like her daughter. So there's a sense, you know? So that must be foreshadowing that he is changing, like Miggy says. Very interesting, but changing into what? For, for the better or for the worse? Is Miggy taking over? Ever so slightly. I won't be killing you after all. Yeah, she spared us because of this. You know, Shinichi, you've changed recently. Exactly! I just said I'm this. Not turning into one of them. I'm not gonna kill and eat people. I mean, you never know. We might be tasty. <laughs> mm -hmm. You got a problem? Yeah! Come on, guys. You need to leave him alone, alright? Uh, Shinichi. <laughs> and why is that? What? That's a girl. Yeah. So what? These guys are like tugs and and damn, like they're really putting this guy through some work. Like they're really destroying him. Like three on one, and he's on the ground bleeding, and they're still kicking the shiz out of him. Man, she she just. I mean, Miggy's asleep. Maybe he shouldn't interfere, because Biggie can't help him right now, and, and he... Or maybe this is the time where we get to see his psycho side, or, you know, if he has began to change personality-wise and all that, maybe he's going to be a badass or something like that, you know? Look, I don't know what's going on here, but I think he's had enough. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking the little shit wants another one. Just forget it. It's kind of pitiful. One thing I don't understand about the human psyche is the notion of self-sacrifice. Doing something to assist another being at a cost to oneself is unnatural. Hmm. I do not see the benefit in this at all. Damn. The human psyche. Come on. <laughs> I mean, if anything, this proves that he's still human, right? That he's not changing for the worse because he is trying to help this poor guy, you know, out of a sticky situation. And Migi literally said that, you know, he doesn't understand that behavior and he would never actually interact because it doesn't benefit him. So this proves that he's still human. Oh, just That's it. Human beings are different from parasites. Yeah. Yo, dude. You sure you want to do this? Huh? Yeah, I do. Damn. Uh, this what you wanted? Don't you think you're overdoing it a little? Oh, no. Miggy's not gonna know what this is about. All right, that's not I mean, at this point, just let Miggy loose. <laughs> Guys, I know that's just a psychopathic quote from my side because Miggy's probably gonna sever him in half, right? But come on, this guy is pissing me off, man. <laughs> and yeah, he's right. Miggy's not gonna know that this is just a skirmish. I mean, a bit of a rough skirmish, but still, you know, and he is gonna butcher them all, you know, because survival of the fittest. So maybe, maybe he shouldn't wake up. Kind of lame to pick on someone so weak and <laughs> sad. Must be your lucky day. Huh. Mind your own business. It's less painful. <gasps> she can. What? what? She. How? <laughs> Is she one of them? Bra. 
She was able to recognize that there was something wrong with him. Oh my god, what happened to you? Don't worry, it's nothing. I'm okay. You said you took on Mitsubo's whole crew. I wouldn't say I took them on. <laughs> they killed me. Look at my face. Those guys have been doing more and more crap like that lately. Uh, oh, the girl. So I guess you have a girlfriend? What do you want? Why didn't you run away earlier? Huh? I just couldn't. I can see through you. You can pretend to be all self-righteous, but I know that you're up to something. What? What's her deal? I don't oh, the know. guy. Stop it! <laughs> Wait, that guy's again? Kick? What the hell? Wait, these are some new guys? Like, what the- Is this city infested with morons? Like, well, what? What is- uh, They're not gonna rape the girl, are they? Bro, what the hell is happening? Shinichi, at this point, just let Migi loose. I understand he's asleep, but wake him up, man! There you are, you piece of shit. Just let her go. Come on. Nah, I don't think so. Go on home, we'll take care of her. What does that what? mean? Oh. You ain't acting like a freaking hero this time. Face it, you can't do a goddamn thing. Shinichi. No, not now, Migi. You can go back to sleep. Shinichi. <laughs> Migi's like, Shinichi, just let me sever his spine and then I'll go back to sleep. Okay? You good with that? <laughs> uh, the way he just, you know, Shinichi. <laughs> I need to kill him. I really need to do it. <laughs> he deserves it. <laughs> Bruh. I mean, at least Miggy's, uh, you know, awake. So, I guess this puts an end to, to the ass whooping, but... Take care of this. Even dogs and cats are able to evaluate the strengths and weaknesses of their opponents. Animals instinctively avoid yeah. fights they cannot win. Yeah. He's... Point is survival of the fittest. His point is, you know, the natural pecking order. I love how, how Migi is actually going based off of his instincts like all the animals and creatures on this planet. And as Migi so kindly pointed out in the last episode, we're the only beings that actually, you know, self-cancel each other, you know? We commit suicide and that's effed up, you know? So that kind of go, goes directly against the survival instinct and all that. So Migi is evaluating the threat and he's being like, uh, you should flee. If you're not going to let me intervene, you should flee because you're not up to the task. It's a natural thing to do, you know, a natural way to respond to danger. Leave him alone! I like it because it's rational. Sometimes a human can't back down from a fight. Man, why doesn't he just give up? You are gonna let her go, or else. <laughs> oh wait, no, Mickey, stay out of this. Oh, Mickey's like, oh, we're not taking any prisoners today. Let's slice him and dice him, Shinichi. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah, this guy doesn't even know the threat level that he's facing here. But yeah, looks like uh, Miggy is listening to Shinichi. I like their, you know, relationship. It's developing more and more. But yeah, Shinichi ain't up for the task, and this guy is, you know, persistent. And I like how this guy is like, why doesn't he just give up? Uh, maybe because uh, your three friends over there have his girlfriend and are about to do some atrocious shits to her. Like, who would give up? Like, what? <laughs> who in their right mind would give up in that situation? Well, well, look what we have here. The guys from school? Yeah. The guy. You've made a big mistake. Shut up! Come on, Come on, bitch. Pack behavior. Wait, that's that parasite. The male genitalia are actually quite different from the female. I can't seem to control them very well. He pissed himself. I can't move. Damn, it's rejecting me. I must find a new host and relocate. So he can, so because he, when he was a young parasite, he went into a female, he can only possess females. So yeah, we're biologically very different. So it must pose a, a great obstacle for him to, you know, kind of learn how to control and maintain our system since we are so different from, from females. But 
Yeah, these creatures are highly intelligent, and I like how they, like, I mean, he, it survived, and I'm sure he's gonna find a female host. But, yeah, is he gonna stumble upon us, you know, in the end of this episode or something like that? It's interesting, because they explained through this parasite, a random parasite, if I may add, that it is possible to switch from one host to another. So, maybe... Maybe Miggy is one day gonna, you know, leave Shinichi alone. But under what circumstances and, you know? Look, it's not like I can't walk or anything. I'm fine, really. Uh, no. Your right hand isn't even scratched. Because, uh, uh, I mean, uh, your left uh, hand sure got messed up pretty badly. Do I seem normal to you? Oh, no. You are not normal at all. <laughs> not many normal people out there would do that. True. Is that supposed to be a compliment? Of course. Oh. Okay. And by the looks of things, you're about to be rewarded. <laughs> I'm just... I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> My parents are out of town right now. That's right. Do you maybe want to stay over? <laughs> uh, no, thanks. Very disappointing. I'd hoped I'd get the chance to see humans <laughs> Oh, go to sleep. Who are you Same. To? Well, at the very least, we don't have a problem, do we? Uh, yeah. Is she gonna sense something is wrong with the hand? <laughs> what is happening with this girl? She has powers or something? You should be careful when it comes to that female. It seems she is able to sense, however slightly, wavelengths that should only be perceptible to parasites. What? Yeah. Kind of makes all that rushing around to get here worthwhile. The parents. It? We should come back here. <laughs> and bring Shinichi with us. <laughs> He's never far from your mind. Bruh. No, no, no. Please don't. Uh, bruh. Don't even play with me, man. Listen, like, they seem in a very... <sighs> they seem to be out of town, you know? I mean, not out of their hometown, but out of the town that they're visiting and that one parasite is looking for a female host right and it's wandering about and it said uh, like getting out of the urban area was a mistake so please don't tell me this is leading up to where i think it's going because bro no way come on they're not gonna get attacked are they guys no way Nobuko. Huh? no way bro did he just chop her head off? Your mother always prepares nutritionally appropriate meals. Well, I can eat like that again tomorrow. You're never gonna eat like that again, bro. If, if, if... It's from a public phone. He's also wounded. Your mom. I'm going to the police. I'll get that damn monster if it's the last thing I do. Bro, this is terrible. I said that he shouldn't have let them go. It can't be. But, but, Mom... Shinichi, what is it? That's, that's another thing, though. Is Miggy gonna be able to understand the concept of family and, and how he feels after this, right? It's very interesting, because even parasites have... Uh, do they have mothers? I don't know. Dad? Mom? That goddamn monster. She's not a monster, she's... Monster? She's not a monster, she's mom? What? Like, didn't that... Oh, <coughs> sorry. Didn't that parasite decapitate her? So are you telling me that it actually was that parasite and it took her body and I was... Bro, can you imagine? Can you imagine him actually stumbling upon her, his mother and it's a parasite? Oh, damn. No, 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 no. So wait, the dad is dead as well? Bro, that's a lot to handle right now. This. Come on, Dad. You gotta call me back. A monster. That's exactly what Dad said on the phone. I know that can only mean one uh, thing. This is all your fault. Damn. I was against them taking the trip in the that's first That's true. Case, but you said they'd be safe. You said it would be yeah. fine. I never said that it would be fine. I merely pointed out that in terms of probability. Shut up! I can't face this thing unarmed. I'm so full of hate right now, I'm going crazy. Those damn monsters. It stopped moving. How could it unlock the door? What is happening? Is that... 
Oh, that's a parasite, isn't it? So then the mail has not yet returned. What's what? That's not your mother. You know that. One of my kind has taken over your mother's head, Shinichi. Huh? My hand? Yeah, I'm so sorry, Mom. I mean, I really wanted to tell you about... She can't hand, accept I... the outcome. So, yeah, I know having a talking right hand is pretty weird. I mean, hard to believe, right? Just the hand. How unlucky. Without taking the head, you find yourself under human control. You have to see what's happening. Your mother is all right. Shut up! Just shut up! You don't know what you're talking about! If you keep talking, I swear I'll Damn! I feel guilty. And mom, I... I want to apologize. No! <laughs> Shinichi! What the hell?! Just happened. Mom. Is that oh my what? Oh what why why is he acting that? I mean like oh my god, that's 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 such a shock to him, right? I understand it's a shock, but how the hell can you just that Man, he was just he's dead. Like, I don't think, like, uh, what the hell? I don't think Miggy can heal him. Like, he, that was through the heart. And Miggy couldn't protect him because the knife and... Damn, okay, yeah, I understand. Damn, that was, that, was, that was an inner struggle on his part. Really, really an inner struggle. Because he couldn't face the fact that his mom is dead. And it's all his fault, let's be honest. Like, he, he should have told him. Like, screw Miggy, man. He should have dealt with it. But he was too afraid, and, and, and they, man, damn. And Miggy's just calculating. He's like, I didn't say they, they would be safe. I said the probability of them being attacked was lower than if they were in an urban area. And, and yeah, that, damn. But that parasite that, cha like, switched hosts and is in now his m mom is very capable. Like, did you see? Okay, at least now we know that, that the parasite can switch bodies and... But I don't know, I don't know if, if Miki finds, like, only if Miki finds a way to heal him, he can survive this. Like, he's been pierced through the heart. I think that's a wrap, but he's the main character, so I don't know, man. That This, this episode was really surprising, man. I can't... Damn, his mom's, man. Jesus, that that's dark. That's dark. And his pops, I believe his pops is dead as well. Why did he, why did, why, why did this parasite come all this way? How the hell did he even know where he, they live? I, I guess wallet or something. I don't know, a driver's license. But yeah, why was it so adamant in seeing whether the, the male was, was dead or not? Like his pops, why, why, why is that so important to the parasite that... Is it because uh, he knows that, like, his true identity and all that? So they have to hide. I don't know, man. A lot of questions, but I ain't going to prolong this that much. I really enjoyed this episode. Hope you enjoyed the reaction, and I'll see you on the next one, which I'm going to be jumping into right now. One more, and then I really need to go to work. But, yeah, I haven't really slept last night, and I need to go to work in an hour. So, yeah, that that's messed up. But this is what's keeping me awake right now. So I'm excited. We're going to be jumping right into the next one. I uh, hope you're safe, guys. I love you all. It's all I have for you for now. Uh, see you in the next one. Uh, enjoy. Uh, stay safe. And bye.